Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Market Analysis Capstone Project. I want to welcome you to your first large project. This project is going to guide you through using all the skills we've covered in the first half of the course. The first half of the course really focused on teaching you the basic libraries that we're going to be using throughout the course. Things like NumPy, Pandas for data analysis, Matplotlib for visualization, etc. And also using things like stats models for time series analysis. The second half of the course is going to focus on using all those skills in financial analysis situations as well as algorithmic trading. Everything you need for this project is located under the folder Stock Market Analysis Capstone Project, which is in the top level of that zip file. There's an exercise Jupyter Notebook as well as a solutions Jupyter Notebook. There's also some CSV files you can use in case you need them. I want you to note that this project exercise is optional. You can basically treat it as an exercise where you open up the exercise notebook, work through it, do the reading, and then answer the questions in it. Or you can treat it as a code along project where you go with the solutions lecture coming up next and actually just follow along and code along with me. Whatever your style preference is, go ahead and go for it. Now there's a few bonus tasks inside the exercise notebook, such as the candlestick visualization, that require exploring the documentation. There's a couple things to do some of these bonus tasks that we actually haven't covered yet. So feel free to skip these and wait until the solutions lecture to actually see how they're done. Or if you're feeling up to the challenge, go ahead and go for it. Another major part of this project is to slowly introduce a few new financial concepts to get us ready for the second half of the course. These are just basic things like returns and cumulative daily returns. The methods for these financial analysis techniques are described really thoroughly in the notebooks, so quite a bit of reading will be involved with this project to make it a full learning experience. So when you're learning how to actually calculate the cumulative daily returns, there's some things to read in that actual exercise notebook. And one last note, the notebook will want you to use Pandas Data Reader in order to actually get stock information directly with Pandas from the internet. However, for some geographical locations, or if your computer has a firewall, or maybe you don't have full admin settings, that may actually limit your use of Pandas Data Reader. So all the CSV files that you're going to be using are provided just in case you need them. All right, let's explore the exercise notebook and walk you through it so you can decide how you would like to approach the project, either as a full exercise or as a code along solutions project. Let's hop over to the exercise notebook now. Okay, under the Python for Finance repo folder, you have the Stock Market Analysis Capstone Project. You can go ahead and open up this Stock Market Analysis Project Notebook. And then the corresponding notebook for it is the Solutions Notebook. Don't click on that unless you actually want to see the solutions. Instead, click on Stock Market Analysis. That will open up this notebook. And here we have the Stock Market Analysis Project. And then here's the note again. You're free to treat this as a full exercise or just view the solutions and have it be a code along. So this is your first capstone project. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can read some of the stuff. So it's separated out into parts. So part zero, just importing various libraries. Then part one, getting the data. So this capstone project focuses on car companies and analyzing the returns of car companies and comparing them to each other. So we focus on comparing things like the Tesla company versus the General Motors versus Ford and how their stock performs from January 1st, 2012 to January 1st, 2017. So we're just dealing with historical data here. So we have getting the data, so using Pandas Data Reader. Again, in case you can't use Pandas Data Reader, we have the CSV files for you. So it walks you through getting the data, and it also wants you to repeat this step for Ford and General Motors. So then once you get that data, there are some visualization tasks. So we want you to visualize things like a basic plot of what the stock performance looks like. So you can see here Tesla uh, much higher than General Motors and Ford, although keep in mind, this doesn't take into account things like total market cap. This is just price per stock. Then it also wants you to plot the volume of stock traded each day, things like that. And then there's a little bonus question, what happened that day? So these little bonus questions require you to do a little bit of Google searching. So for instance, uh, Ford has a really big spike in late 2013. I wanna ask like what happened that day? Like what is this day, et cetera? And an example answer is right there. There's also uh, some more questions here, trading, total traded, et cetera. More plots, moving average plots. We've discussed those already. Scatter plots, which, which, which we've also discussed, seeing trends, etc. Then there's this bonus visualization task. This is really hard. Um, well, not really hard. It just requires you to kind of check out this finance demo documentation. And eventually, if you actually end up doing it, you'll get a little candlestick plot that looks something like this. Now, we haven't actually covered how to do this yet, so always feel free to kind of skip this bonus task here. So going along, we come to part three, which is the basic financial analysis. So this is where we actually 
begin to focus on a few key financial calculations. Uh, nothing too crazy, just things like daily percent change, which is the daily percent change formulated by the price at time t divided by the price at t minus one, uh, minus one. So the ratio of the current price divided by yesterday's price minus one, and that's your return, which makes sense because it's basically the ratio of how much you made from yesterday. And then you'll calculate returns, you'll keep going down, do some more stuff with moving averages, etc. You'll do some histograms, kind of measuring volatility here of the various stocks, compare them one on top of each other, some more visualizations, you'll do some kernel density estimation plots, you'll do some box plots, etc. You'll compare daily returns between the stocks, see if something's correlated or not, so you can see kind of Ford and GM have a higher correlation versus Tesla, and then you'll have cumulative daily returns. So there's a little bit of reading here for you to do in case you don't know uh, how to actually calculate cumulative daily returns. There's a little bit of an explanation of a daily return versus a cumulative return. There's also uh, some formulas here you can follow. And here's the formula here, and then here's the actual pandas formula that you'll be using. So you'll do that, you'll calculate it, you'll get the returns, and then the cumulative return, and then you'll plot them out, and that's the end of the project. If you have any questions, feel free to post them to Q&A forums or just check out the solutions lecture where I'll be explaining everything in a lot more detail as we actually code through the project. Okay, best of luck. And remember, you can approach this project however you feel best works for you. I'll see you at the solutions lectures.